Hey guys, Captain Walnut back with more mob sorting action. I think this is the final version. I can't find any other problems with anything. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with the last one. This is just a little bit more compact. A lot of you guys had a lot of suggestions. Um, and I tried to implement almost all of them. Um, so yeah. Uh, let's get into it. Um, so what's this version got? This version got rid of those crazy pistons that were uh, right in here. Instead, we implemented an entity, a, or a minecart in this case, so that the skeletons can think they can shoot right through. Um, we got rid of the drop down water stream with a mob evader back up, back up for the mobs routing. And uh, that's good for actually um, despawn detection. I'll get into that in just a little bit. Um, we got a mob regulator here. Uh, it's just a claw hooked up to a couple model stables with some fence gates opening and closing. Um, and I switched the target mob for the snow golem out to a spider. Uh, and that is because we can switch, we can sort spiders based off of size, n not based off a system like this. Um, and I am running the latest snapshot, uh, 12W03A. Um, and that's the one with the zombies with the really awesome tracking behavior in it. I really love this new tracking behavior. It makes zombies so much more mo so much more of a challenge. And as you can see, uh, the system still works for them because I'm not violating any of their new tracking behavior. They're still trying to walk direct at the shortest route between them and the snow golem. Um, and that's what their new tracking behavior does. Now, what? Uh, let's just ah, sorry and we're gonna get some sound lag right here all right so if we take a good close look at this thing I have uh, water currents pushing the snow golem back into a corner here um, and then on the opposite side I have a glass pane so that some of the skeleton arrows will hit the glass pane uh, the rest of the skeleton arrows that make it through the little gauntlet here will hit the minecart and the minecart will um, take a little bit of damage from that um, if you if there's enough time in between skeletons, then the minecart will sort of heal itself and it won't get destroyed. If you have 100% skeletons coming through here, all really quickly, all firing arrows and all hitting the minecart, and I have tested that, the minecart will indeed get destroyed. Um, but you know, that's not that. Uh, that shouldn't happen in a normal mob system. If you have an extremely high efficiency mob system, you might want to split your mobs up into two groups, one heading into one system like this, another one heading into another system like this. Uh, what else? I implemented the um, despawn detection. The spider is just sitting on a little pressure plate here. So uh, when he despawns, uh, it'll actually turn this line on which will switch this mob switch. The mobs will go down this path instead and instantly get killed or uh, fall and get killed, as, kill, get killed as quickly as possible. Um, also, this piston will retract, disconnecting this clock from the monostables such that the back gate remains closed and the two front gates are open. Um, and that, that's because right here, the mob sitting behind this back gate are more than 16 blocks away from the snow golem whereas mobs here or mobs here are close enough for the snow golem to detect it so if we have the spider despawn the snow golem is going to target a new mob and if there's any mobs close enough that are still alive there's a chance he could target those other mobs and we don't want that to happen that's why we want to kill off the mobs as quickly as possible the second that the spider despawns uh, if you go too far away um, that way the snow, if the snow golem did indeed, like, let's say he targeted this zombie, uh, and that zombie went back here and killed himself, as soon as that zombie died, then the snow golem would target the closest uh, mob in range, and that would be a new spider that got dropped in. So you'd have a system sort of like this fence gate system here, a mob system like my checkerboard mob system, which allows spiders, endermen, and all the other mobs to spawn, uh, feed the mobs first through my enderman separator, which can handle spiders, and then uh, use a generic spider separator, stick them into a little storage tank, um, and then have a one at a time sort of set up like this. Whenever a spider despawns, you let one out and he comes in here. Uh, you also have a master control switch if you want to, which does the exact same thing as that despawn thing. And there's a good reason for that. Um, 
That is because, and I just want to show you this here, the, the mobs go back this way now. Um, there's a good reason to have a master control switch, and that is because upon logout, and let me just bring these guys back in here. Upon logout, uh, and I'll actually do that, the all the mobs, including the snow golem, will lose track of the guy that they're supposed to be hitting. So you see, the snow golem, for a second there, was no longer targeting the spider. Um, and let me illustrate that a little bit more better. Let me get some mobs closer and log out again. Um, yeah. The, the snow golem will forget that he's supposed to be hitting the spider. The guys that were pissed off at the snow golem will forget that they were actually pissed off at the snow golem. So when you log back in and you have mobs in this system, it's just a big fiasco. So now we got some mobs coming through here. I'm going to sign out and sign back in again. Boom. There. See, the snow golem forgot that he's supposed to be targeting the spider. He's actually targeting one of these other mobs in range here right now, since he hasn't started shooting the spider again yet. Um, these guys all forgot that they're angry at the snow golem, so now they're just going to the wrong slot. They're just using random wander behavior instead of directed wandering behavior. So that is why, before you log out, you would normally flip the master control switch, wait about 10 seconds for this system to get empty of mobs, and then go ahead and log out. And then when you log back in, the only mob that is close enough to the snow golem would be the spider. And then so the snow golem would hit the spider and you'd be fine. Other than that, this system is flawless. As far, I've watched this thing for days, I've let it record, I've you know, come back and checked if there's any new mo wrong mobs in the wrong places. And of course there are now because I let it despawn or I let, I log back in and logged out, logged in. But yeah, um, look for a tutorial soon. I've been extremely busy uh, these past couple of days. But look for a tutorial soon. Um, I'll put this world up for download if you just w can't wait and want to get in there. Um, let me switch this clock back on. If you s When you switch this clock back on, the pulse comes through this thing real quick before the piston pushes it up. So there you go, you saw how that happened. So that way you get the clock pulse started again. Uh, when you turn it off, the piston goes down so the clock can't run anymore. Um, same thing here, as it's mimicking what that would happen there, this piston would close. Okay, so like I said, a checkerboard mob system followed by my enderman sorter, followed by a generic a spider separator. The rest of the mobs will all go into here, the spiders will all go into here. Um, you cannot, well, I guess you could use Doc M77's uh, sieve or sieve trap or whatever you call it. I got one of them set up here. It's not running because this thing is a lag beast. My computer, I, if I only have three rows running, my computer just isn't smart enough, I guess, to uh, recognize that it needs to... Um, to the, my computer's just not fast enough to run it without lag or without significant lag. And here I've got a, um, I even got rid of a clock. It's just using an auto detection system. When the side gets pushed in, it activates this redstone line, which pushes it back. So theoretically that should be less laggy, but it's not. And I got the same thing going on here. So, oh well. All right, again, what up for download? Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Oh, and last thing before I let you guys go, um, just really quick, the way I got rid of that, you know, um, extra piston that pushed away the weirdo zombies is by dropping the platform down by one and sticking on a pair or a, a piece of iron there, iron bars. So that way the creepers fall down and hit here while the zombies aren't fast enough so they always go down there. All right. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.